Hello guys, welcome back to Indian Product Reviewer. I'm your host NJ, and today we are going to look at the enclosure for your 2.5 inch laptop hard disk from your old computer. And this is the USB 3 type, so you will get a faster speeds. And this is the packaging looks like. So it is like a generic uh, which the people import from China and this is the box and basically the importer uh, whenever they import they usually put a branding out here and they tell the manufacturer in China to brand it by the name so I bought this for rupees 500 from Amazon and the links will be provided in the description so you can go and buy the product uh, many colors are available I bought the blue color so I'll be showing you everything from testing the speeds how much I'm getting and also I'll be showing you how to install this hard disk in this enclosure so let's see the packaging so it is like some kind of introduction by you know like how much speed it is having it is durable it is by the way made up of aluminium brushed finish aluminium so it is comes in three languages we prefer English so there is a uh, written like it is stainless steel or aluminium cover so it's basically aluminium brushed aluminium it can work with windows as well as mac os the company which it seems to be is like terabyte terabyte gold 2.5 inch but uh, inside it is mac smack branding branded so let's open this i don't know why but uh, in the photo it was showing terabyte and i got the smack version of it so this is the cable in the box as you can see here so this is a 3.1 usb so it will go in your hard disk and this is a usb 3 which will go in your computer so use a usb 3 port on your computer to get higher speeds as always guys i will say you that speeds depends on your hardware of your computer so don't think that if you are plugging it to a usb 2 and you will get a good transfer speed it is not going to happen so this is the blue color hard disk which I'm showing you so in just a moment I will show you the installation of this installing a hard, di hard disk in this so guys now I will show you how to install this so this is the inside part of this and this is made up of plastic as you can see it slides in and it looks like this and there is a grill part out here and there is a 3.1 USB connector here and there is a LED which is blue in color and this is a plastic kind of a material and there is a chip so this chip is very delicate so don't break it whatever money you paid is this for this chip uh, and it comes with a screwdriver and two screws and it doesn't come with this kind of this is kind of sponge which I took out uh, why because whenever you install a hard disk there is a wobbling sound and I you know just uh, want to tell you guys that please if you have this install it uh, just put it here not to install like you have to just put it here like one in here one in here and that's it because the hard disk keeps on wobbling and if you shake and there is a chances of breaking this connector so just keep it here as I'm showing you so keep on here keep on this side and if you want you can keep one more on this side and just slide in your hard disk like this that's it as you saw here so and one I kept it here and this is a knob I didn't remove from my old hard, uh, laptop as it was broken so it is very handy to pull this up and pull it back so you have to just slide it in as I, as I showed you again I will show you if you want you have to lift it up you have to drag it behind okay and for keeping this again you have to just press this connector whenever you pull it the connector comes up it is a removable connector by the way so don't get afraid that you spoil your connector or something like that so again I adjust everything if you put it a sponge or anything and if you think that will catch fire or something it it won't uh, because the hard disk won't heat up that much and your computer automatically shuts down the computer if it goes you know to a limit where your hard disk cannot handle it so don't worry about it just slide it in like this and just press it down a bit push it ahead and that's it as you can see here all the things are here so what you have to do is then you have to take this side where the screws are and you have to just slide it in very carefully you have to do it 
very gently just slide it in and that's it okay now the screw part comes so now uh, the thing is that the screws are very very tiny so what you have to do is one at a time you have to just put the screw and screw it like this I hope you can see this I will just zoom it around for you guys okay so again I will take another screw just put it in here don't tight it too tight uh, keep it loose not loose but till you get a resistance from the screwdriver do it till that because the sometime it tends to break the you know the inside what do you call that the screw patterns and then your screw is broken then obviously the case has been useless for you because and check while shaking if your hard disk is moving it if you're getting any noise then please put some kind of padding uh, usually go with a sponge you will obviously get it from any amazon packet or you can get it from your any other hardware store or any kind of packaging like if you buy a new t-shirt shirts or you know mostly shirts are packaged with a foam layer in that so you can just go with that so i usually use this foam as you can see this is the foam i got it in the you know in the, in the shirt which i bought so this you can just tear it apart you just need a slice of it and you can just put it there don't put the whole this kind of stuff in inside because then the you know your cheap also needs to breathe so don't just clog it up it will get too much of hotness so shake it up it won't you don't you cannot hear any kind of noise as i'm shaking it so much so that's pretty cool so even if you put it in a bag obviously it's going to shake so it won't shake like that now i'll be showing you the speed so let's check the speed now so now i'll be showing you the speed of this uh, so i've connected my uh, hard disk which i showed you now so as you can see here I named it Nikki. So mostly I use it for my Mac. So I'm just going to show you. I have installed a 500 GB hard disk in this. So as you can see, the it is showing a 500 gigs, and I've put it some files of my Mac, uh, some Microsoft Office and all. So I will just copy some kind of videos. So this is a 2 GB folder, and I'm going to put it into this drive, and let's check how much speed I'm going to get. So as you can see here. I will just zoom it on and I will show you okay so this is what I'm getting now so as you can see 99 uh, MBs per second uh, 104 and it is increasing and it was uh, it just take, took around I've been like 60 more, less than 60 seconds or 30 seconds I think to complete a 2 GB file and I will just show you how much GB it was so let's so as you can see 2.9 so approx 3 gb file it was not even 2 gb and this is all video files by the way of youtube and everything and all sh uh, all shooted on hd quality by the way 102 uh, 1080p so everything was shot on iphone and uh, dslrs this much quality was there and still it completed download and the uh, speed i was getting was around 104 mbps per second so this was this is the speed i'm getting not more than that uh, I know it, uh, you should get around uh, 120 uh, MBs per second transfer speed but I'm getting that speeds on my Mac so on Windows 10 I'm getting 100 Mbps per, per second of speed so it, it's it's all depends on when, upon your hardware guys so that's it guys thank you for watching the video thank you and give a thumbs up to this video if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel and links of buying this product will be in the description box below so thank you again